series started when I found a pelvic bone in the forest lying amongst some moss and I was so struck with the beauty of the bone, how architecturally beautiful it is, that I took it home and when I saw it sitting in my house I realized that it symbolizes the whole concept of the Ouroboros, which is of course a snake that eats its own tail, symbolizing infinity. And because the bone makes you think of death and it's actually a pelvic bone, so it holds the life within itself, it houses the womb, and it is the architecture of creation. And so this makes me think of the whole cycle of life, death, and rebirth, which is the concept of the world world. So for me, it symbolizes infinity, fertility, um, female divinity, and power. And so that's how I started that series. about forest communication, specifically mycorrhizae, which is the fungus that lives underground and is in communication with the tree roots. And so the mycorrhizae can stretch for 100 miles and more, and it's one organism. And, and all the roots in the entire forest are all connected through this, this communication. It's completely beautiful and very much like the internet. And so I've been thinking a lot about forest communication and how we as people on the top of the earth use use our own internet to communicate even though we're not next to each other. But this piece is another forest piece, it's called Spirit Tree. And it's um, it's both a snake and a tree, and uh, it was came to me in a dream. So this is a dream piece. I work a lot with dreams, so it's one of those. <laughs>